My name is Matthew and this is 24 hours in Varanasi, the state of Uttar Pradesh. Varanasi is also known as Banaras and it's a holy city. We're about to explore. I have buckled up at Hostel La Vie in uh, Old Varanasi and for 1,250 rupees a night, which is less than $15 a night. Before we go any further, it's time for us to thank our partners without whom these videos would not be a possibility. With over half a century in Pune, India, Blue Nile is the frontline runner to customer service and great food. Blue Nile probably serves the best biryanis in the world. They have the famous saying and it goes, I cannot make everyone happy. I'm not Blue Nile Biryani. The South African big boy Rokamamas is now in India across Pune and Goa. They have shed upon a reputation for great barbecued ribs, great burgers, and great chicken wings. If you are lucky, you might get the opportunity to make your own burger in their open kitchen. It's 5.30 in the morning. The best way to explore Varanasi is to hire yourself a boat like this and they'll take you around and show you all the guards. But look at the crowd already behind me. This is for the early morning puja, having to open in Varanasi. I am pleased that you've chosen this path. By far, an amazing experience. Extremely surreal. And it just uh, transports you somewhere else. Hard to explain, but it's absolutely well. Now we get an idea of how much crowd there is. What am I going to tell you, man? That was sensational. I strongly recommend that we all should at least experience this once because when you're on that boat, when in Rome, do as the Romans do, right? The most staple breakfast of Varanasi is what they call kachori and sabzi. This is a gravy that is with spinach, cottage cheese, and potato with a lot of spices. Kachori is the local kind of bread that they make. And this is all washed down with jalebi, which is basically made from, how do I explain it? Gravy of sugar. This represents Varanasi. It was a surreal experience. When we took the ride on the boat and we saw everybody doing puja, somebody else is in water, the chant, a calmness dawns upon you. I don't know how to explain it. It makes you so relaxed. Huh? I think 24 hours is more than enough for Varanasi because this two hour early morning ride kind of showed us everything. I'm beginning to dig this hostel while it's the first time I'm staying in a hostel like ever. And I really like it, man. I'm enjoying it. There are like man people, there's a lot of people you speak to. You must have walked at least five, six kilometers. In Varanasi, you walk a lot. It's hot, it's thirsty, we need something savory and sweet. Varanasi is very popular for the lassi, very. There's this joint known as blue lassi, and it gives this savory buttermilk or yogurt. Okay, real good. Also, if you look at the road, I mean, you're still in the road, it's 10 meters. From where I'm sitting right now, dead bodies keep on being ferried. This guy has been seeing it all their life, that's how they handle it. And it's pretty interesting, man. You can put your small photographs and stick it on the wall, you remember it.
Guys, Varanasi has been a challenge. For food, we stay in all Varanasi. Technically, we come to Varanasi to visit the gods. You don't come to have fun, right? Uh, you come to have spiritual fun. Therefore, the food option was not as elaborate as I thought it would be. Even the road vendors are either wala pao's, um, uh, jalebis, or, or, or uh, samosas. I saw a dosa joint, I saw a couple of egg joints, and a couple of veg Chinese stalls, right? Varanasi is very popular for its lassi, but if you come to the area known as Belupush in Varanasi, you have a lot of non veg options. I'm at Hotel Broadway. Uh, a name of the restaurant, what is the restaurant? Amanekas. Amanekas. I didn't want to get it wrong. Amanekas is the name of the restaurant and it's a proper Mughlai uh, restaurant right now. Because I've just done Lucknow, I wanted to try their Goalati Kebab A to see how Varanasi does it. Also, I've actually missed it. And he recommended the home style chicken curry. Of course, I like the Lucknow ones better, but this is good. Oh my god, this is so good! Wow, the aroma. I have now come to this conclusion that a Mughlai restaurant supposed to be eaten only in the state of Uttar Pradesh and nowhere else because this is magnificent I mean I, Varanasi is not as expensive as you look now and Angras too not bad but the food is damn good and it's quite rich flavorful not very spicy you get the aroma you get the taste and it's full There's this one particular samosa joint in Varanasi that is the business. It's made out of Hind. It's a spice. I tried looking for it in English, I couldn't find it, but Hind, Hind samosa, correct? Yeah, yeah, Hind samosa. This is Vikas who owns it. Now, Vikas starts at 2 o'clock. By 4 4 3, it gets crowded. By 5 or 6, he sold over 4,000 samosas a day. This is the samosa. Check this out. Check this out. So his grandmother started this, then he took over. This is over 60 years old, same place. No, no, no. Before that, stuff will be there. No, but the amount, the size was the same thing. Yes. So basically, look at that. One thing about Varanasi I like, man. Actually, you know what I like about Uttar Pradesh? They are so loyal to their local legends. Eh? And guys, this, this Sambosa. A friend of us at the hostel said, why don't you go to, to, to Pizzeria Batika Cafe? We came. Guys, what a joint. What an ambience. It's on Asiga. That's the Ganga River. And the ambience is beautiful, man. As a matter of fact, he claims that he's the first Pizzeria in India. Not bad. Now on the table, I have their specials, right? A Batika special, which has different toppings, right? You got uh, jalapenos, bell peppers, olives, garlic, all kinds of stuff cheese that's the green salad with cheese this is a mushroom soup but vodka cafe is also very very popular for their apple pie with ice cream that's why i have everything on the table so i can give a quick taste of what let's go for the mushroom soup first oh man oh man you know i've traveled to italy italians have no formalities when it comes to pizza and their pastas, they just don't. I've seen more than a few Italians here tell them that, hey man, this has been one amazing pizza. Extremely surprised. The soup, very nice. Mm. Bell pepper, cucumber, tomatoes, carrot, cheese, lettuce, good stuff. <laughs> Guys, tin crust means, and look at that cheese, yeah. Not bad. Oh my God. He was so stressed about food that this tastes so good. Tastes so good. 
how sexy this is. Let's go for it, shall we? Some ice cream. Keto. <laughs> Sugar, I've missed you. I'm glad that I ate you again in this apple pie because it is fucking beautiful. Beautiful, guys. So if you come during the day, you have the entire view of the Ganga River too. Wow, what a place, guys. What a place. Quite ironic. I love it. What can I say about Varanasi that will do justice to Varanasi? I think Varanasi is one of these places where you have to live it to feel it. Um... Varanasi, also known as Banaras, is in the state of Uttar Pradesh, was a wake-up call for us, man, because um, we saw things that we don't usually see on daily basis, right? For example, people go to make their journey to the afterlife in Varanasi. That's unheard of. I haven't seen it anywhere else. We saw a lot of really, really old people just taking that trouble with their people because it was, they were being carried to the gods hoping that it would be the last day they are going there or the last hour they were there. For us, death in Varanasi was a bit casual because we saw tons and tons of dead bodies but we also turned out on an average 1,500 dead bodies are burnt in the gods in Varanasi. It's a place that people want to go because they think the passing to afterlife has a spiritual and holy meaning for them. It's a definite must for a couple of days. I think everybody should see it, but I don't know if it's the place for children. Right? So if you're going, then you should go without it. Um, to see the gods, the best thing is to take the boat early in the morning, see the puja early in the morning, take the, take the boat again, see the gods during daylight. Um, food was okay. They were very popular for the lassies. I don't know if street food was um, something to die for, I would go back. But at uh, what they call New Varanasi, God's in the old Varanasi, in the New Varanasi, there were a lot of restaurants that served good Mughlai food. So it was okay. Was it a visit? What, or was it absolutely? That goes without saying. Will I do it again? I don't know. Unless there's a very good reason for it, man. There are friends or family or here, I would, I would, I would go there again. But would I spend three, four days there? No. Varanasi was a wake-up call and let me end this by saying when you are floating in the river Ganges it's an experience of a lifetime 